Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, a fire tutorial but basing it, basing it around uh, fire that scatters and fire that spreads. So um, I'm just going to show you this quick little clip um, just to see how obviously fire starts. So if we just look here, we've got this guy, he's just made um, a bit of fire. Obviously he's got smoke first. And out the smoke comes the flames so that's basically the effect we're looking for we're looking for the smoke and then the fire now um i'll just quickly come out of that so um you've created your fire so for instance you've made it in houdini fume effect um or you're using action essential twos uh two uh, uh, uh stock footage um and you basically want to bring it into after effects so um this is basically the way i would do it if i was doing um uh, a quick sort of fight element. So let's say let's let's drop this one on top here, um, and we've got a, basically a standard fire. So if we uh, play this back, the fire's already started. So how do we get this fire to start out of the blue? Well, it's very very simple, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you type in fade um, in your uh, presets. Uh, come down and look for uh, fade flash to white. Get that and drop that on top of your fire layer. And what that will do, I'll show you. You see how quick that was there? It goes from white, which gives you the smoke effect, into the fire, like so. But what we want to do is that we're going to select our layer, come up to layer, go to time. Uh, let's go time stretch and let's speed it up by 300. And then uh, uh, let's play that back. Right, so you've got the white, okay? So you've got the white element which looks like smoke and then it changes into the fire. Now, what you can do is just add other elements of fire. So I've obviously used Action Essential 2 uh, by Video Copilot. Um, you can use any type of fire animation that you create. So let's just put this in place and let's select our fire element. Bear with me. And as you can see, we've got a fire here, and this one is we've added our um, effect to it. So let's bring our big fire over here, okay? And say, for instance, this fire has already started. So I'm going to drop our fire element on top and as you can see we have the smoke the fire will start and the smoke will start here and then it will continue on to a larger fire and then we can do the same by adding sort of other elements to that so if we drop this torch element on top sort of bring this there bring it in between uh, let's, let's bring it to the bottom actually like so, so it's actually behind. Uh, we could get that same effect, drop it onto the torch, bring it to the start, and then as it starts, as you can see, we're going to get another flame sort of started here with a bit of smoke, and then it just starts. And that's basically how you would do it. That's basically how you would do sort of creeping fire because, as you just saw from that clip, fire starts from smoke, so it starts off gradually, like so. so Basically, that's how you would sort of create your fire. And then what you can do is just select it all, uh, make a 3D layer out of it, um, get the rotation tool, and just slightly sort of, you know, turn it around so you can sort of basically add it to your comp the way you see fit. Now, obviously, there's other things you can do to make the comp better. Let's just get rid of this. Um, you know, positioning. Let's look this fire here and bring that down there. And obviously because we're using Action Essentials 2, we can go and we can import. Uh, let's go back in. We can import some smoke and some debris if we want. So we've got some dark smoke. Uh, let's get standard smoke here. And we can drop the smoke at the bottom. So it's at the back. And sort of put it into, say, here, like so. So we've, you know, it's about compositing it um, right um, to the scene. So let's go to blending mode and let's go to screen. As you can 
Like I said, we've got no background on this, so it's quite hard to see. So uh, let's just. Uh, I don't know if we've got a background. Don't worry. Um, you sort of get the gist of where we're going here. Um, it's about um, timing when you're doing this. Um, and timing this, the, the, the actual fire that's spreading. If we just move that all the way over here like that. And then we get this fire here. And then what we can do is we can control D this. Duplicate that and then, then bring that over. Like so. So we're going to get the element that this is going to spread, right? So we've got this one, and what we can do is we can sort of move it over here and watch what happens. It'll just pop up. So this fire started, we've got a bit of smoke here. Now this is going to pop up. Watch. And because we've added the effect already to this layer, it will continue with this layer as well. But like I say, guys, it's just about positioning. Uh, position in the fire so it actually looks good so we might want to bring it up a bit and that's basically how you do a trail that's basically it. and obviously you know the quicker you want it to happen um, the shorter the time frame so if you look here that will happen that will happen but obviously you know this is going to be in the scene so the way it fades in you won't really notice the fading in like that fading but what you can do is you can actually speed that up as well so if we go to the layer selective go to layer uh, go to time uh, let's go to time stretch let's put that to 50 um, we can make that sort of happen a hell of a lot faster so watch bang and it's time straight away and that might be sort of like a better effect so we can get this one here go to layer Let's go to time stretch and let's put that to say 40 and you're going to see the difference in speed here that's popped up that's popped up so you might want it to sort of continue um bring this sort of for realism bring it in a hell of a lot closer so it starts quicker so maybe a little bit more so boom like that. so basically that's quite a nice uh, little effect so let's just highlight this all up and let's just hit S on the keyboard and let's just scale all of it down and let's just bring it across and let's close all these like so now what we can do is we can sort of play around with where we want Sorry, our fire to be and our positioning. <coughs> and we can make the sort of fire sort of a lot more intensive. So let's just try it from there. So the fire started there and it just spreads like that. Right, so. And that's sort of like a back to the future sort of thing if you think about it, the way it just comes across. And then what we can do is we can control D. And duplicate that again. Bring this all the way over like so. And it's like it's spreading much. Like so. You can have some sparks animated off of that. It's all about how you composite the actual um, effect into your scene. Um, and how you want it to look. But once it's in your scene it's going to look a hell of a lot better than on uh, black. So let's just bring this a hell of a lot closer and play again. And obviously, if you want it really, really quick, let's go bring this closer. Let's bring this all the way in, <coughs> just like that. So basically, that's how you would spread fire, um, or do a spread fire effect within um, After Effects. So. Like I say, it's so easy to do, it's fine, it's just about fading in and using your uh, flash so you can, you know, get your smoke, duplicate that a few times um, and just basically, uh, you know, place your smoke where you want it to be in the scene. Like so, and then what we can do is we can get all these 
effects, color correction, curves, and let's just bump that up a bit so we've got a bit of smoke. Bring that uh, all the way up, like so. You can see the smoke there. Uh, so we want to highlight all the smoke again and just bring that sort of over a bit. <coughs> As you can see, you've got a bit of smoke element there. So we can do is go now, new uh, adjustment there. Go to effects. Uh, go to color correction again. Go down to curves and just sort of bump that up. So it gives it a bit of a more of a cinematic sort of uh, fiery look. So that's your main fire, for instance, and it just spreads out like so. And you could sort of do this, you know, in sort of like the distance or uh, wherever you want to, wherever you basically want to place the fire. So it's not a bad little effect and it's very, 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 very quick to do. So remember guys, you know, add your fake flash to white um, on each of your layers as you sort of spread the fire um, and that's basically how you do it so i hope this has helped guys i hope you found this informative there's not a lot of tutorials out there uh, based on fire spreading uh, the spreading of fire um, so i hope this has helped you helped all you guys out so um as always guys thanks for listening stay tuned for um the next video uh, which should be coming soon um, as always, thank you for your support. Uh, please hit that like button or that dislike button. It's entirely up to you. Uh, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.